spring Chinook. Uh, today's the last day, so if you're wondering why I'm looking all spiffed up, well, we're gonna do a couple passes this morning and then uh, get to work. So hopefully, hopefully we put some spring Chinook on the boat. Let's get a rod in the water, shall we? Oh, I'm super stoked to be out here, you guys. What a beautiful day, perfect conditions as far as the weather goes. If you're, uh, well, I didn't post it, but uh, my wife and I came out here the other night and put the boat in the water, did one pass, and uh, we got blown off by the wind. It was nasty. We run that short bus flasher, two, three out hooks, throw some herring on there. All right, if you're following along with the channel, you guys, you'll know that I've been, I've been uh, chasing Spring Chinook for a couple years now, have not put one in the boat. Um, we did get our first salmon in the boat last fall. It was very exciting. And it was in the same spot. All right, we've got our cut plug. Water temperature here, 47 degrees. Loosen that drag a little bit. 38 feet of water at the moment. Tide is rolling in for the next hour. Not currently marking any fish. Right here is where we caught that fall, fall fish. It was not a Chinook, it was actually a silver. So you have not put a Chinook in the boat yet. One thing we have put a lot of in the boat, ducks. You guys are here for the fishing, but you uh, enjoy duck hunting. Go check out some of my playlists from uh, 2023. I got a 2024 playlist and then some duck seasons from the past, not out of the boat, but a lot of my 2023 and 2024 uh, movies are out of the boat. So this boat has a duck blind on it from October to late January. Oh, huh. look up, my rod's bouncing. Got me all excited. Let's see what's going on here. Ah, look at that. We got a fish, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, it's not, uh, not one I can keep. Got a little smolt. There we go. There you go, buddy. There he goes. All right, come back in four years, buddy. That little guy is gonna head out to the ocean, eat herring and anchovies and squid, just all kind of shrimp, just get fat and come back and maybe we'll see him again. All right, guys. I'm gonna come through here, come through the belly. You guys tell me if I'm doing this wrong. Those of you that, uh, know what you're doing. That's, that's a big hole there. Probably not ideal. Come through the backbone. See how that looks. What do you think? I think that looks pretty good. About 20 pounds heavier on the next fish, please. Funny story, last year I came out here and caught that fish. I was so excited to just get it home and show, show the kids and my wife that uh, I forgot to clean it when I was out on the river. <laughs> I got it home and I was like, oh, I forgot to gut it. A lot of rookie moves, you guys. 29, that's what we're gonna roll with. Based on my speed, the depth, man, it really, there's these little humps in here. I do see a lot of markings on there, small ones. I wonder if those are smolts. God, look at that. There are fish. Is that a fish right there, you guys, suspended? Is that a small one? I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? 9.50, we're checking our bait. We're checking our bait more. Make sure. The fact that uh, we caught one of those smolts tells me we need to uh, check our bait more. We also may, we may, switch up to the, uh, the short bus Sweet Abbey. What do you guys think, should we switch? I think we're gonna do that in about 10 minutes. Note to self, sunscreen. It damages this beautiful skin. Maybe something on the bottom, and I'm pretty much right there. Let's get lower, let's get lower. Yep, we are there. That's where, right, where we wanna be. All right, rule is when the camera's out of battery, time to go. That's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. 
Maybe we'll get another smolt. I mean, if that's all we get today, I mean, if we had the kids in the boat, they'd be super pumped. Yeah, fish, 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 fish. All right, we're bouncing on the bottom now. That's where I want to be. All right, this pass here, guys, we are going to roll with this guy. Uh, I don't know which one that is, but uh, we caught a fall, fall fish on that. And we're going to throw a uh, herring on there as well and uh, see what happens. I've got triple hooks on there. There we go. That is the spin we want. Let's drop this right on a salmon's head, shall we? You guys, two hours. I gotta get back to work soon. Gotta get some spring chinook in the boat. It is uh, coming up on 11 o'clock. We are in approximately 30 feet of water. My rod's bouncing, I'm dragging the bottom. That's right where those fish should be right now. Heading back towards the marina, trolling west, tied probably in the slack, slack zone right now. We're gonna say maybe starting to tick out a little bit, but not much current. Water temp 48.09. Is that a fish? Yeah, it sure looks like it. Right on the bottom, right? Just hovering up two feet off the bottom. All right, you guys, we're uh, probably gonna call it quits. It's uh, nearing 11:30, and uh, I got to get back to work. So I had a lot of confidence going into the day. Um, I always do when I first come out. I wish I could stay out here all day, but uh, I got to get back to work. Hopefully uh, we get a little bit of an extension. It's not looking good, so uh, they'll probably reopen the river mid-May. So we're looking at uh, another month from now. So it'll be a while, but uh, hey, we, we came out here, we put in a good effort and uh, I had a good time. Always a good time in the boat. And hey, we didn't go away empty handed. I mean, we went away empty handed, but we did get technically a fish on the rod. We caught a smolt. So uh, you saw that. Very exciting. If the kids were in the boat, they would have been ecstatic. That would have kept them coming out here for years. Anyways, uh, got another probably quarter mile back to the uh, marina. If we do get a fish on, of course, we'll bring you back. But uh, thanks for joining. As always, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully next time we'll get into them.